Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and welcome to the documentation of the Divi Responsive Helper plugin. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what the plugin is, what it does, and show you how to install it and show you all of the features that are included. So let's get started. Right here we are on our main documentation page and this is found at pacreative.com forward slash docs, forward slash Divi responsive helper. So you can always come here to find everything you need to know about using this plugin. Here at the top, we have the video and that's the one you're watching right now. Then we have installation instructions and these are the written instructions. Of course, we talk about having Divi installed and how to download the file and then we talk about getting it installed and we're going to do that right now on an example website. So as you can see here, this is a normal plugin. We're going to install it like a normal plugin. So in my website here, I'm going to plugins, add new. Then I'm going to click on upload plugin and go choose the file from my computer. Then go ahead and click install now. Click on activate plugin and now you can see here in the installed plugins list, you can see the Divi responsive helper. Next, you'll see over here in the documentation that you can go to the Divi theme options, which is where all of our plugin settings are located. So if you go down here to the Divi menu, click on theme options. Here you will see we have another tab added. It's called Divi responsive helper. Click on that. And I will note that by default, all of the features are turned off. And this allows you to turn on any features that you're wanting to use. Here you can see more tabs, preview size, widow fixer, column stacking, and then inside are more and more settings. And especially as we enable some of these, we'll see more and more settings. At this point, we need to do what we're recommending here. And that is to go take a look at the page that says plugin settings and features. This document acts as a full list of all the features and settings and it also acts as kind of a change log and a roadmap. You can see here we have little version numbers and those are green and that means that that feature is included in the current version. If you see one of those that kind of has a pink color to it, that means it's a planned feature for a future version. So as you can see here, this is a list of all of the settings that are included in the plugin. And you can see that under each setting is an explanation of what it does. However, the best place to dive into each of the settings is over here. For example, the first one, preview size settings. And this would correspond here to this first tab. Here you can enable the preview size presets and that opens up this whole new area where you can customize each of these presets. Here is the preview size custom value. You can turn that on to enable that as well. Over here in our list of settings, We'll click on the one that corresponds to those, and that's the preview size document. Here you can see that we have an overview of why we would need this, what the feature does, and how to enable it. So here we have screenshots and explanations, and then we have the GIF showing you how this would look as you're using this in real life. Here they're choosing the preview preset size, and this, you can see it's changing in the Divi Builder here and there's also a field for custom value where you can set whatever size you want. You can also turn on the auto open responsive settings. By turning that on, it allows us to open those three tabs, the desktop, tablet, and phone tab inside the Divi Builder. Here's our documentation on this, why you would need this, what it does, and then we have another GIF showing you this in action. So here you can see it being turned on. And then as the builder opens, you can see that under each setting, the tabs are already open. This is really handy when you're ready to go through your site and make it responsive. The next tab here is Widow Fixer. So you can go ahead and enable that. And then underneath is more settings. This one is for paragraphs and you can choose the number of words here. And then you can enable this for headings and you can even exclude pages here as well by clicking on all of the pages that will show up here on your website. Here's the documentation for the Widow Fixer. It explains more of why we need it, what it does, and how you can enable this. And then, like always, we have a live preview here. You 
you can see that there were words that it's just one word on the last line of the paragraph. So enabling these settings will fix that. Next is column stacking. Here you can enable the column stacking order and the number of columns. And this enables settings in the Divi Builder in the Divi rows and columns. Here's the documentation article for the column stacking. Shows you how to enable it like we just did. And then it talks about the column stacking order feature. So the order allows you to change the way the columns stack on tablet or phone. And you can go into each column and change that for each row. And that way you can control whether you want something on top or the bottom, or if you have four or five columns, you know, whether it comes third, fourth, fifth, etc. Here we have a GIF showing you how that works turning it on and then going into the Divi Builder, into a row, enabling it, and then switching over to something like your phone preview, going into each of the columns, and then choosing an order. There you can see that it changed the stacking order. The other column stacking feature is the number of columns. So here it's showing you how to turn that on, and then inside the row you will see that you can choose the number of columns side by side on tablet and phone. And here is an example of that. You can see that it's on phone here and it's choosing three. And there's there you go, you can see it changing live. Here we have a list of some of the popular viewport device sizes. Basically what that means is you would take the width here, one of these numbers, and let's say you had the iPhone 8, for example, and you had it in portrait mode and you wanted to adjust the Divi Builder settings for that, you could choose 750 as your custom value in the preview size. This article lists some of the frequently asked questions and this will be updated as we receive more. We also have a change log here where you can always reference to see what is new and what feature came out with each version. We also have a roadmap where we give you some sneak peeks into some of the ideas we had planned and we also are asking you for feature requests so be sure to send them in if you have some great ideas. We also have a list of all of the feature update posts. Those are the blog posts where we talk about each version release and we have a blog post and video explaining what is new in each of those versions. To go back to the main page, we can always click here in the breadcrumbs, click on Divi Responsive Helper. So here on the main page again, we have a list of all of the documentation articles that you saw in the sidebar. We also have some information about updating your plugin. The update will come just like any other plugin that you have. It will show up in your WordPress dashboard. All right, so that's an overview of the Divi Responsive Helper documentation. Please be sure to browse all of the documentation here. Often we do get emails of people asking questions that are clearly explained here. And so to do us both a favor, just make sure you do browse through here pretty thoroughly when you're looking for something. But of course, we're always happy to help. And if you ever have any issues, we'll always be here for you.